Okay, in previous videos, we mixed up our star comp. We rolled stars and then we made black powder coated uh, rice hulls for our burst. And now we're going to start building the shells. So let me show you what's involved with that. Okay, now we're going to build our shell. Today I'm going to do a five inch shell. And our cardboard hemis here come in pairs and they're actually for a five inch shell it's actually more like four and a half inch diameter that gives us room to wrap it later and to have our quick match on it and it still fits properly in the tube and not too tight and i have these setting on these little couplings that are actually for plastic pipe and i just bought these at a hardware store and they're really handy for setting your hemi zone also you'll notice that one hemi has a hole in it and I simply did that with my punch mallet and we're going to use that to put a spillet in. The spillet is simply a cardboard tube and we're going to put black match in it and it's going to be used for our time fuse to go up in and pass the fire to the center of our shell. Now I'm going to uh, assemble this and um, go ahead and hot glue it in place and then I'll be right back with it. Okay, so I went ahead and completed our spillet. And let me show you that. What I did was took some of the black match, put it down inside our tube, put a little tape around it, and then I just tied it for extra security there. Then I hot glued it in place. And on this side, you can see it's just open, slightly sticking out. I'll explain that later when we get ready to wrap. And that is where our time fuse will go. Anyway, that is uh, the first step here. And you can pre-make these. Uh, there's no set size for these. I try to just size them depending on the, the size of shell. You want it to pass up into the center of your shell. And we'll lay these out. We'll spread these out a little bit once we get our uh, brake charge in there. Anyway, so our next step, we're going to fill these with our stars. And I've put together a couple of things of our stars here. And we're just simply going to dump them in. And then I'm just going to start moving these around until I get them lining around the outside. Now I've got some larger ones in here. I may or may not leave in there. Uh, to get a good even an even pattern, um, if you use the same size stars, then then it gives you that even look. I kind of like I kind of like mixing in some of the larger ones, and that gives you a different look in the sky with the brighter brighter points. And so anyway, what we're going to do is wrap. Uh, we're going to fill this up. We're going to continuously move these around and try to minimize the space between them. And the reason for that is that uh, uh, a space in here that doesn't have a star in it, a uh, little teeny space here is big in the sky, theoretically. And so I always try to just mess around, change them out. I'll take my tweezers and I'll put some, let me take this bigger one out. I may swap around the size of these to fill in the holes properly. And we're going to run these all the way up to the edge. And we want to keep them from it sticking out too far above the top of the hemi. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and let me go ahead and finish both of these because it's kind of tedious work if you uh, if you really try to minimize that little spaces or gaps in between these, it just takes a while. So let me do this off camera. I'll be back and then we'll uh, take a look at it. Okay, so I've got our hemis lined with our stars. Taking a little bit of time to try to minimize the gaps in there. This is one of those things that you can worry yourself to death about. If uh, you're real, real, real particular about stuff. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to put some tissue down in these. 
and this is not a necessarily have to do thing but it this is going to help prevent our stars from migrating during transport when this shell's been moved around and jiggled and so forth it's going to keep those more in place because we're going to pack we're going to pack our uh, burst charge inside this so what i like to do is go ahead and pre-cut tissue and i've got a smaller hemi here that i'm going to use to press this down inside now you can use your fingers if you want it's just got to be careful because the stars want to fall out if you hit them or fall back down in there so i've taken this and i've actually got a hole in it to use on the other one where our split is but i'll just stick it in here and then i'm going to press it down inside inside our hemi here we'll open this up <coughs> And I'll go ahead and do the other one. No, I won't either. Let me go ahead and do, do this. So now we're going to take our burst charge that we made earlier. And we're going to fill this up. Being careful as we go. And we want to compact it also. We do not want this anything to be loose to rattle around in there. Now we'll even round this up a little bit before we close these up. I'll add a little more burst charge around it. Okay, so then we'll do the same with this one that I've already pre-cut a hole through. And we'll run our black match through it. And here again, we'll press this in place a little bit. Then we can fill this one. And also compacting that. Now you can see how our black match is sticking up above the surface here. And go ahead and lay these little strands down. And we can fold our tissue inside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding a little bit of, working a little bit of our um, burst charge in around here, round it up slightly. Then we're going to actually cover it with some clear uh, wrap, saran wrap, whatever. And we're going to use that to hold everything in place while we put the shell together. So let me tinker with this a minute and um, then I'll be right back. Okay, so one other thing I'm going to do before I close these, or we're going to put a little bit of burst charge, maybe a half teaspoon or so, on each side, and this just further helps the shell catch and burst. So now I'm going to wrap these with the saran wrap. Okay, I've got both of these wrapped with saran wrap, and I uh, gathered it up on the bottom and twisted it so we can keep these nice and tight so when we slap them together there'll be less chance of stuff falling out on you and you can see they're slightly rounded up and that is so when we get these together we can get them really tight now what i'm going to do is actually start tearing a bunch of little pieces of uh this brown tape in preparation for closing this. Once I get it closed, I want to keep my hands on it to keep it tight. 
so I can get it all taped together. This tape's going to be temporary until we get ready to wrap the shell, and then we'll probably remove this and add some gum tape around it so it's not as bulky around the where the shells are put together. So anyway, I'm going to do this, put a bunch of these here. Just the way I like to do it is I just stick it around everywhere on my workbench where I can just grab a hold to them. Okay, we'll see that's enough. All right, so now what we're going to do is slam these together. Well, I'm making sure that the saran wrap is tight. And then we're going to try to work these together a little better. You can see there's a sizable little gap there. But as we take a mallet and pound on this, let me see if I can zoom out a little more. We'll actually go around it, <clears throat> try to keep pressure on it, and tap the top hemi and the bottom hemi as we're holding pressure to try to settle everything and close the gap as we're doing it. Now since we've mounted this stuff up, we're going to have some of our bursts fall out on us, but that's okay. There's plenty in there, and it's the only way to maintain a really tight fit. So I'll go ahead and tear all this loose. I'm not trying to pull it out, I'm just tearing it off. It's going to be perfectly fine to leave this in the shell. You'll have no trouble burning through this. Okay. So I'll go ahead and move this out of the way. And I'm going to continue to tap on this. Rotate it as I do. This one's going to be super tight. That's what we want. Because the tighter you can contain the explosion, or the, the stronger it's going to be. So we're getting there now. Okay, now I'll start going around and trying to tape this shut, maintaining pressure as we go. Okay, I had the perfect amount of tape. Okay. So, there's our shell put together. And I'm going to take a little piece of tape and we'll stick across the splat here just to make sure it's secure enough if there was any any chance of any spark getting down in this before we can get it all finished. So there is the shell put together. And I will be doing a separate video to wrap this. And the 
idea behind this is exactly the same and the process is exactly the same for whatever size shell basically you're doing. Now uh, we can do petal, petals in here with a second layer of stars. We can do pistols which is just a little grouping of the stars right in the center. Uh, larger shells we can start adding effects but it's basically the same for all sizes. It's just the larger shells take a lot more stars and a lot more burst and a lot more to lift them according to the weight. So anyway, that is putting a five inch shell together, at least the way I do it. So there you go. And like I said, now I'll come back later and we'll go ahead and start wrapping this. I'll show you how to wrap this if you don't have a machine. All right. Thanks for watching.